Hey guys, I'm Anthony, and this could be your job. In 1908, Mads Anderson started Western Land Roller Company right here in Hastings, Nebraska. Today, Mads Anderson is gone and his company name has changed, but the pumps, well, the pumps, they're alive and well, and so is his legacy. Western Land Roller is now FlowServe, and FlowServe just so happens to be one of the largest pump making companies in the world. The pumps we are going to see today are featured in a variety of different industries like agriculture, oil refineries, power industries. They have even been used in things like hurricane relief, the Hoover Dam, and Winter Olympics. FlowServe manufactures vertical turbine pumps, like you see here. Everything on the outside, made right here in Hastings. Want to see how it's made? So do I. Let's go find out. So the process of making cast iron pumps, they do it the old fashioned way here at FlowServe with sand, metal, sweat, and fire. I'm here with Luis, and he's the guy at the foundry, you know, that kind of makes this process start. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do and what the foundry is? Oh, the foundry, that is the place where we make iron. What kind of protective equipment do you guys need? Well, I have uh, my, uh, my clothes, this is the fire protector, and my helmet, respirator protector too. So how hot does it get back there? I had to heat it at 2850. So you're basically like working over the sun back there. Basically. <laughs> Bet it gets a little sweaty. <laughs> a lot sweaty over there. <laughs> so can we head it back there and check it out? Sure, but you need to use this back here. Okay, this uh, keeps the chemicals out of my face? Exactly. All right, let's go. So if you're from Hastings, you're probably familiar with City Iron and Metal. Well, FlowServe buys all their scrap metal and brings it over here to be melted down and turned into their pump parts. Pretty cool. Comes in as scraps like this and leaves as FlowServe pumps. I could get a tan on this. Or maybe a burn. To start the process, foundry workers unload thousand pound hoppers full of metal into the furnace. From there, they mix in carbon, silica, and inoculant to make the cast iron. This process takes about an hour and 15 minutes. After the metal is heated to almost 3,000 degrees, it is moved down the line in preparation to be poured. While the cast iron is being melted, behind me the team puts together the molds. They put the cores in the molds and then they send them down the line to be filled. FlowServe makes all their molds in-house and there's over 120 different molds available at any given time. Each mold can only be used once however, so each day they make new molds to make new parts to make new products. Once the molds are made, they're sent down the line to be filled. They pour in the cast iron which sets the molds. Working in such extreme environment makes safety a top priority for Flosser. It takes many hours for these molds to cool before they can be handled by the rest of the team. So once the products are done, they come down this conveyor belt here and they're shaken off and they look something like this. Still got a little sand on it, not fully finished. So what they do is they take this product, put it into the shot blast where it's cleaned up, then they grind it down and they send it off to be machined. Machining is a manufacturing process that involves removing materials using cutting tools, or basically getting rid of unwanted materials from your workpiece and converting it into your precise final product. Different types of machining tools include drilling, milling, turning, and grinding. I met up with Dale in the machine shop to find out more. I know like a lot of high schools now are doing some machining stuff in the schools. Does this kind of translate maybe into working here at Closer with that kind of work or maybe CCC? Yeah, we just got a uh, intern, well I think they're hiring him on full time now, and he just came out of uh, high school, he just graduated. And we work with them, we do in-house training and everything. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's a good step for him. If you were going to talk to somebody about wanting to get into this, what would you say is a good reason to check out closer? 
probably the history of how long it's not a new company. It's been around for a while. Uh, I think we're stable. Good yeah. good benefits? Yeah, I like the benefits. I like the pay. Good pay, good so, benefits. Yeah. And, and we have good people out here, and that helps out a lot. So. So, so like the high school kid that's coming in with just some training, he's probably going to be making double what some people are going to make at McDonald's, you know, that type of thing. It, we, he's made comments. He likes to pay better than where he was at. So yeah. that's a plus. So there's over 1,300 parts made here, and the process of putting those all together into a product is done in assembly. So I'm going to head over there because I want to see what these become. You needed these? Yep. Send them over here. All right, guys, so I'm at assembly now, and I'm with Kenny, and he's going to show me all about putting all the products and parts that we've seen today together. Right now, we're putting together a pump. What size pump is this? This is an 18 KXH, one stage pump. So that means a big one. Pretty good size pump. It's an industrial pump. So in assembly, what's our job? Our job is to put the pumps together as the orders come out. Once we get it, we build it to spec how they want it. So you guys are basically the last step before it leaves. We are the last step before it leaves. Kenny and the other employees are in charge of putting together the products, or assembling. They make sure that each piece fits together perfectly before it's sent out to be shipped. This is your Bible over here. If you got all your parts and you're, you're doing it according to it, you're doing it right. So we're ready to go with the cap screws. If you, I don't know if you're left or right handed. Right handed, but we just screw them in here, just get them started, and then I'll finish fastening them with a impact. Assembly crews work a single shift and assemble hundreds of pumps a month. Upon client request, the pumps can be tested at the facility located right here in the plant. So you said there is a place though to test? Test lab, which is another building across the way. It's approximately, a, oh, I don't know, not quite a quarter mile. So it's a walk. You, you can walk over there, we can buzz. We got carts if we have to buzz down there, but generally when we're Going to the test lab, we're hauling a, one of these units down. So you're not running? Well, usually a forklift or a cart, hauling parts to them, whatever it may be. So. Well, I kind of want to see it, so I might head off that way, but thank you so much for teaching me about all this yep. and let me be a part of the assembly process. Yep. You guys do Two individuals work. down there be more than happy to assist you in what you want to see. Thank you so much, Kenny. Just be careful where you go. And uh, not, don't get lost. Don't step out in front of any forklift. <laughs> Will do. Thanks. Thank you. Here at the Hastings plant, they have just under 150 full-time employees, and the average time that they work here is 13 years, but they have many employees that have worked 20 plus. This facility is 220,000 square feet, and it sits on 11 acres. It's not a surprise that it took me a little while to find this place, but I finally made it to the test lab, and I'm here with Gary, and it's Gary's job to make sure that everything they make here works. So tell me a little bit about testing and what your job is with these pumps. Okay, over here in the test lab, we're, our, we're responsible for uh, testing the bowl assemblies and some of the complete units that are going out of here. What's the environment kind of like here? What's it like to work here? Uh, it's been a good job. Uh, needless to say, since I started in 73 to now, there's been a lot of changes. <laughs> and it's all been for the good, so it's been a good deal. Great. Good place to work. Underneath the test facility is a 150,000 gallon pool where they test the pumps. If everything checks out and they get client approval, they're good to go. It was great to meet right. you, Gary, and uh, you, too. you do a great job here. Great. Thank you. Thanks. We've got to see some pretty interesting jobs here at FlowServe today, but they also have positions in purchasing, finance, sales, and engineering. Everyone here works together to provide for the customers. Because the employees are so valuable to the company, FlowServe offers some great benefits, including medical and dental insurance, tuition reimbursement, paid holidays and vacation, a 401k savings plan, along with a pension plan. FlowServe also offers an annual incentive bonus to all eligible employees. 
So I got my order filled and it's getting ready to ship. It's just really impressive. There are thousands of pump parts that go into each of these different products and they're shipped out every day all around the world. I mean, it's been impressive to see just how massive FlowServe is in Hastings and the jobs that they provide for the people in this community. And there's just so much to do. You can go across the spectrum and there's always a job available for somebody. You know, it really would be a fun place to work and who knows, maybe one day it could be your job.